Okay, in this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss what is production plan. To understand production plan, let us assume that a firm uses N goods. So these are the N goods. And these goods are either used as inputs or outputs. So it is important to note this. Now let us suppose that we have a good J. J can be any good. And this good can be used as input as well as as output. Now this is quite confusing why how a good can be used as input as well as output in a particular time. But it is not very difficult to understand it because sometimes we use factors of production such as land, labor, capital and organization as input. And sometimes we do outsourcing. We hire or we use finished good as input to do something else. For example, before further discussion, you guys are requested to like this video, subscribe to Show Academy, and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel. Automobile companies use tires. Tire itself is a finished good, but it is used by the automobile company to produce a car. Similarly, ball bearing, similarly, low brackets. Low brackets and bar bearing are also they are finished goods, but they are used by the firm to get a compact car. Those inputs are other goods to produce something. So if we use this J good as input, it will be represented by small y j i. But if we use the same good as output, it will be y j output. And the net output will be y and it is y and this is equal to uh, output minus input so it is equal to yj output minus yj input and this can be equal to zero this can be greater than zero or this can be less than zero when this is greater than zero, it means that your output are greater than your input and you would prefer to produce more. And when your output is exactly equal to your input, so the net difference will be zero. You should stop production. However, if the net output is less than zero, it means that your input, your hiring are greater than your output. So you should reduce production. Technically, it is important to note that Y belongs to the real space so y is n r what is r r is the real space to understand real space uh, we have to understand the dimensions in which we uh, show the relationship between two or more economic what is important to note that if we have two variable and we want to show the relationship we use uh, two dimension real space. For example, this is a two dimensional real space. If variable exceeds two, then the real space, the dimension of the real space may increase. For example, if there are three variables and we want to establish relationship between three variables in a graph, then the uh, three dimension real space can be something like this. Look at it. So this is a three dimension real space. However, if our real space increases, so R dimension real space can be something like this located. This is four dimension real space. This is six dimension real space in which you can uh, analyze the relationship between six variables. This is this is eight variable real space. All right. So it means that the space can be extended to uh, so many dimensions. So what our course is to understand our dimension real space. Let us look into the real number. Look at the real value. This entire circle shows the 
real values and it contains real algebraic values something like this rational number something like these numbers integers something like this natural number which starts from zero and so on so real number contains all these numbers including pi uh, exponential and minus 2 pi and so on so this is in real numbers you uh, have the uh, real algebraic number rational number integers natural number negative value positive value all of them are included so that's why the r dimension it, it determines this is the number it determines uh, r r dimensional real space which can be uh, which consists of so many spaces which depends upon the variable included in the analysis so we were talking about the uh, production plan but what is important to note that there is always a set of production possibility a production plan right so these plans can be restricted or unrestricted for example short run production plan and the long run production plan uh, and these can be efficient and non efficient production plan so if you form a set which contains all production possibility plan so it will be represented by the production possibility set and the production possibility set is given by it is denoted by capital y so capital y shows the production possibility set and it is a subset of the r dimension real space it should be noted that sometimes you you just put r which means the, the real space when sometimes you put here r n which means that n dimensions real space sometimes you put plus it means that your r dimension real space covers positive dimensions only but you know when you do not put plus sign it means that the r dimension space here can either be uh, negative or positive